Sarnath is a place located 10 km northeast of Varanasi near the confluence of the Ganges and the Varuna rivers in Uttar Pradesh, India. The Deer Park in Sarnath is where Gautama Buddha first taught the Dharma, and where the Buddhist Sangha came into existence through the enlightenment of Khandana. Singpur, a village approximately one km away from the site, was the birthplace of Sriansanath, the 11th Tithankara of Jainism. A temple dedicated to him, is an important pilgrimage site. Also referred to as Isipatana, this city is mentioned by the Buddha as one of the four places of pilgrimage to which his devout followers should visit. It was also the site of the Buddha's Dharmakakapavatana Sutta, which was his first teaching after attaining enlightenment, in which he taught the Four Noble Truths and the teachings associated with it. <inaudible> Origin of names Sarnath has been variously known as Amrigadava, Migadaya, Rishipatana and Isipatana throughout its long history. Amrigadava means, "...deer park". Isipatana is the name used in the Pali Canon, and means the place where holy men Pali, ISI, Sanskrit, Rishi, landed. The legend says that when the Buddha to be was born, some devas came down to announce it to 500 rishis. The rishis all rose into the air and disappeared and their relics fell to the ground. Another explanation for the name is that Isipatana was so called because, sages, on their way through the air from the Himalayas, alight here or start from here on their aerial flight Paksekha Buddhas, having spent seven days in contemplation in the Gandamadana, bathe in the Anatata lake and come to the habitations of men through the air, in search of arms. They descend to earth at Isipatana. Sometimes the Paksekha Buddhas come to Isipatana from Nandamulaka Pabara. Shranzang quotes the Nigrodamiga Jataka J. I. FF to account for the origin of the Migadaya. According to him, the deer park was a forest given by the king of Banaras of the Jataka, where deer might wander unmolested. The Migadaya was so called because deer were allowed to roam about there unmolested. Sarnath derives from the Sanskrit Saranganatha, which means, Lord of the Deer and relates to another old Buddhist story in which the bodhisattva is a deer and offers his life to a king instead of the doe the latter is planning to kill. The king is so moved that he creates the park as a sanctuary for deer. The park is active in modern times. History Gautama Buddha at Isipatana Before Gautama the Buddha to be attained enlightenment, he gave up his austere penances and his friends, the Pankavagiya monks. Seven weeks after his enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, Buddha left Aruvela and travelled to Isipatana to rejoin him because, using his spiritual powers, he had seen that his five former companions would be able to understand Dharma quickly. While traveling to Sarnath, Gautama Buddha had no money to pay the ferryman to cross the Ganges, so he crossed it through the air. Later when King Bimbisara heard of this, he abolished the toll for ascetics. Gautama Buddha found his five former companions and enlightened them with the teachings of the Dharma. At that time, the Sangha, the community of the enlightened ones, was founded. The sermon, Buddha gave to the five monks, was his first sermon, called the Dharmakakapavatana Sutta. It was given on the full moon day of Asala Puja. Buddha subsequently also spent his first rainy season at Sarnath at the Mulagandakuti. By then, the Sangha had grown to sixty in number after Yasa and his friends had become monks, and so Buddha sent them out in all directions to travel alone and teach the Dharma. All sixty monks were Arhats. Several other incidents connected with the Buddha, besides the preaching of the first sermon, are mentioned as having taken place in Isipatana. It was here when one day, at dawn, Yasa came to the Buddha and became an Arhat. It was at Isipatana, too, that the rule was passed, prohibiting the use of sandals made of talipot leaves. On another occasion when the Buddha was staying at Isipatana, having gone there from Rajagaha, he instituted rules forbidding the use of certain kinds of flesh, including human flesh. Twice, while the Buddha was at Isipatana, Mara visited him but had to go away discomfited. 
Besides the Dharmakakapavatana Sutta mentioned above, several other suttas were preached by the Buddha while staying at Isipatana, among them the Anatalakana Sutta, the Sakavabhunga Sutta, the Panka Sutta, .e., the Rathakara or Pasatana Sutta, a. I., 110f, the two Pasa Suttas, s. I., 105f, the Samaya Sutta, a. .e. .ff, the Katuviya Sutta, a. I., 279f. A discourse on the Metarapana of the Parayana a. .e., 399 f, and the Dhammadina Sutta s. B., 406 f, preached to the distinguished layman Dhammadina, who came to see the Buddha. Some of the most eminent members of the Sangha seem to have resided at Isipatana from time to time. Among recorded conversations at Isipatana are several between Sariputta and Mahakotita, and one between Mahakotita and Chittahatthisariputta. There is also a mention of a discourse in which several monks staying at Isipatana tried to help Channa in his difficulties. According to the Udapana Jataka, J. E. FF, there was a very ancient well near Isipatana which, in the Buddha's time, was used by the monks living there. <laughs> Isipatana after the Buddha According to the Mahavamsa, there was a large community of monks at Isipatana in the 2nd century BC 4. We are told that at the foundation ceremony of the Mahathapa in Anuradhapura, 12,000 monks were present from Isipatana led by the elder Dharmasena, Xuanzang, a Chinese Buddhist monk, who travelled to India in the 7th century, found 1,500 monks studying the Hinayana at the Isipatana. In the enclosure of the Sangharama was a vihara about 200 feet high, strongly built, its roof surmounted by a golden figure of the mango. In the center of the vihara was a life-size statue of the Buddha turning the wheel of the law and to the southwest were the remains of a stone stupa built by King Ashoka. In front of it was a stone pillar to mark the spot where the Buddha preached his first sermon. Nearby was another stupa on the site where the Pankavagyas spent their time in meditation before the Buddha's arrival, and another where 500 Paksekha Buddhas entered Nibbana. Close to it was another building where the future Buddha Metara received assurance of his becoming a Buddha. The Divi. 389-94 mentions Ashoka as intimating to Upagupta, his desire to visit the places connected with the Buddha's activities, and to erect stupas there. Thus he visited Lumbini, Bodhimula, Isipatana, Migadaya and Kazinagara. This is confirmed by Ashoka's lithic records, e.g. Rock Edict, VIII. Buddhism flourished in Sarnath because of kings and wealthy merchants based in Varanasi. By the 3rd century Sarnath had become an important centre for the arts, which reached its zenith during the Gupta period 4th to 6th centuries CE. In the 7th century by the time Xuanzang visited from China, he found 30 monasteries and 3,000 monks living at Sarnath. Sarnath became a major center of the Samatya school of Buddhism, one of the early Buddhist schools. However, the presence of images of Haruka and Tara indicate that Vajrayana Buddhism was at a later time, also practiced here. Also images of Brahmanist gods as Shiva and Brahma were found at the site, and there is still a Jain temple at Chandrapuri located very close to the Dharmic stupa. At the end of the 12th century Sarnath was sacked by Turkish Muslims, and the site was subsequently plundered for building materials. <laughs> <laughs> Discovery of Isipatana Isipatana is identified with the modern Sarnath, six miles from Varanasi. Alexander Cunningham found the Migadaya represented by a fine wood, covering an area of about half a mile, extending from the great tomb of Demeka on the north to the Chorkundi mound on the south. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary characteristics of Isipatana According to the Buddhist commentarial scriptures, all the Buddhas preach their first sermon at the Migadaya in Isipatana. 
It is one of the four Avijahitutanani unchanging spots, the others being the Bodhi Palinka, the spot at the gate of Sankasa, where the Buddha first touched the earth on his return from Tavatimsa, and the site of the bed in the Gandakuti in Jetavanane past ages. Isipatana sometimes retained its own name, as it did in the time of Fusa Buddha, Damadasi Buddha, and Kasapa Buddha. Kasapa was born there. But more often Isipatana was known by different names for these names see under those of the different Buddhas. Thus in the time of Vipassi Buddha, it was known as Kima Yuyana. It is the custom for all Buddhas to go through the air to Isipatana to preach their first sermon. Gautama Buddha, however, walked all the way, 18 leagues, because he knew that by so doing he would meet Upaka, the Ajavaka, to whom he could be of service. Jainism Sarnath is the birthplace of the 11th Tirthankar of current Tirthankar Sri Sriyanzanatha Bhagwan. It is the place where four of the five Kalyanak auspicious life events of Sri Sriyanzanatha Bhagwan took place. Sri Digambar Jain Sriyansnath Mandir, Singpuri, Sarnathit is the place of four Kalyanak of Sri Sriyansnath Bhagwan. A huge Ashtakod stoop, octagonal pillar, 103 feet in height is still present showing its historical establishment. It is considered to be 2,200 years old. Mulnayak of this temple is a blue-colored idol of Sri Sriansnath Bhagwan, 75 cm in height, in Padmasana. The artistic work of this temple is unmatched. Current features of Isipatana Most of the ancient buildings and structures at Sarnath were damaged or destroyed by the Turks. However, amongst the ruins can be distinguished The Damek Stupa, it is an impressive structure, 128 feet high and 93 feet in diameter. The Dharmarajika Stupa is one of the few pre Ashokan stupas remaining, although only the foundations remain. The rest of the Dharmarajika stupa was removed to Varanasi to be used as building materials in the 18th century. At that time, relics were also found in the Dharmarajika stupa. These relics were subsequently thrown in the Ganges River. The Chorkandai stupa commemorates the spot where the Buddha met his first disciples, dating back to the 5th century or earlier and later enhanced by the addition of an octagonal tower of Islamic origin. In recent years it is undergoing restoration. The ruins of the Mulagandakuti Vihara mark the place where the Buddha spent his first rainy season. The modern Mulagandakuti Vihara is a monastery built in the 1930s by the Sri Lankan Mahabodhi Society, with beautiful wall paintings. Behind it is the Deer Park, where deer are still to be seen. The Ashoka Pillar erected here, originally surmounted by the Lion Capital of Ashoka. Presently on display at the Sarnath Museum, was broken during Turk invasions but the base still stands at the original location. The Sarnath Archaeological Museum houses the famous Ashokan Lion Capital, which miraculously survived its 45-foot drop to the ground from the top of the Ashokan Pillar, and became the national emblem of India and national symbol on the Indian flag. The museum also houses a famous and refined Buddha image of the Buddha in Dharmachakra posture. There is also a body tree planted by Anagarika Dharmapala, which was grown from a cutting of the body tree at Bodh Gaya. For Buddhists, Sarnath or Isipatana is one of four pilgrimage sites designated by Gautama Buddha, the other three being Kushinagar, Bodh Gaya, and Lumbini. <laughs> Modern day pilgrimage to Sarnath Sarnath has been developed as a place of pilgrimage, both for Buddhists from India and abroad. A number of countries in which Buddhism is a major or the dominant religion, such as Thailand, Japan, Tibet, Sri Lanka and Myanmar, have established temples and monasteries in Sarnath in the style that is typical for the respective country. Thus, pilgrims and visitors have the opportunity to experience an overview of Buddhist architecture from various cultures. In English literature 
The plate on which Letitia Elizabeth Landon's poem Sarnat, a Boo monument is based shows its then run-down condition, and her words, comparing the religions of the world, pick up on the apparent weakness of Buddhism in the country of its origin at that time 1832. Sarnath is one of the locations of Rudyard Kipling's Kim. Teshu Lama stays at the temple of the Tithankars in Sarnath when not on his pilgrimages. Kim meets him there after he leaves St. Xavier's school. Topic: Image gallery. Topic: See also. Adi Badri, Haryana. Pillars of Ashoka. Kanaganahali and Sanati in North Karnataka. Equals equals notes. <laughs>